Hi, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, friends and family, this is Matthew Forster with Remax Elite and the KB team. Wanted to tell you guys about appraisals in the state of Texas and your taxes that you're paying on your home. So I don't know if you guys know this, but if your primary residence, uh, if the house you're living in is your primary residence, you can claim homestead exemption. Not only does this save you money on your taxes every year, but it'll also cap the amount of taxes or assessed value that they can raise on your property every year. So it's capped at 10% if it's your homestead property. So if you've owned your home as of January 1st, you need to apply for your homestead exemption. Um, I think the date's already passed for this year, um, but you definitely wanna submit it and get it um, in there. So I don't know the process with the county. If you haven't filed your homestead exemption, um, and it's past the due date, but you should still be able to file it and at least get it for next year. Um, but that does save you money every year in your taxes and also limits the amount that they can raise on your taxes every year um, by 10%. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Also, at the beginning of the year, they send out a notice to you that this is their new assessed value of your property. What some people don't know is that you can actually protest that. If you protest it on the website, they will send you an electronic response, basically offering you a new value on your house. And if you accept that, then it actually lowers your taxes. Or doesn't take your taxes up as much as it would if you didn't protest it. Um, so an example of that, I protested it last year. They sent me the e-file. I accepted it, I was happy with the value they put on it, and my taxes didn't go up as much. This year, I actually protested it online. The appraiser today was actually confused of why they, they didn't send me again another e-file offer on the home. But I went in to actually protest it in person, and I took you know, just value of the home, what I'm seeing homes sell for in my neighborhood, thought their valuation of my house was a little high, but then I also went in with pictures to show them of, you know, older HVAC unit, older appliances, um, repairs that need to be done on the home. They take all that into consideration when they're actually putting a value on your home for your taxes. And so that's helpful for you because if you actually show them some of that information, they'll take into consideration repair cost replacement cost, depreciation value. So all those things can actually lower the amount your home is assessed for, which in turn lowers the amount that you pay in taxes. So I actually, because I went in in person this year and presented information about our house and things that I think need to be considered in regards to the value. So like we have some areas of our house that need to be repainted. Um, we have a uh, older outside HVAC unit that needs to be replaced. Uh, we have older appliances that the builder put in when the house was built. So it's like 12 year old appliances. Um, you know, things like that, things that affect value. Um, two things that they don't take into consideration for value, fence, they're not gonna give it to you even though my fence needs to be replaced and any kind of landscaping um, just because I don't know why they don't consider that in value. I think that that can affect value or desirability if you're going to sell your home, but they don't factor that part in. Um, so mine didn't get, I didn't get any deductions for the fence that needs to be replaced, but I did get uh, deductions for those other items that I mentioned and it significantly lowered my assessed value, which in turn lowers my taxes. So why am I telling you guys all this? because I care about you. <laughs> I care about your taxes. Now you're like, well, my taxes go up, my taxes go up, but do you care about your payment going up? Because if you have a mortgage, your mortgage company gets that tax bill at the end of the year and they it impacts your payment. If your taxes go up, your escrow's short, you're gonna be paying more when they reassess your mortgage payment. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I, for one, love the cheapest house payment I can get, right? I'm sure you guys do too. 
And so, um, just want to give you that information. Don't be afraid to protest your taxes. Don't be afraid to look at the value, the assessed value they're putting on your home. Don't be afraid to bring up things that need to be fixed on your home. Um, even if you're planning on fixing them in the next six months, right? So if you're planning on doing a new HVAC unit, or you're planning on doing some painting, you haven't done it yet. You didn't do it as of January 1st, so you shouldn't be taxed on it. Um, really bring anything you think is a defect in your home or could impact value and they'll walk you through it. The lady that I worked with at the appraisal office was super nice. She walked me through things that didn't affect value and things that did affect value. Um, and then she adjusted my taxes actually lower than what they were last year. So now I wish I would have gone last year in person and mentioned some of these things. <laughs> um, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Also other exemptions you can have in the state of Texas. There's a list of them, but, um, veterans disability. So if you have any percentage of disability, um, from prior military that can save you money on your taxes as well as over 65 can save you money on your taxes. So there's a whole list of, um, exemptions you can get in the state of Texas. So you definitely want to check with your county appraisal district, but it can definitely save you money on your assessed value, the amount that they're going to tax you, which in turn lowers your monthly payment. Anyway, just wanted to share with you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And uh, if you guys have any questions about that, that I can answer, if there's uh, any questions you have about your home value that I can help with, let me know. I'm here to help. So appreciate you guys watching my video and I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday.